Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Norwegian cruise experts, and today I'm on board the beautiful Norwegian Sun. This ship holds a special place in my heart. In fact, the first time I was on was over 20 years ago during the christening event here, and this ship has gone through quite a few evolutions since then. She's still in fantastic shape and the perfect option for so many of our guests. Now, I can't wait to share all of the beautiful public spaces here on board, and of course, we do have all the rooms and suites for you to check out as well. But before we get into that, make sure when you're ready to book your next room or suite with Norwegian, Regent, or Oceana, you do it right on hardtravel.com or reach out to your hard travel advisor. We know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now we've started off at the very top deck here on the Norwegian Sun that overlooks the pool deck. So just below us, you'll see you have two large pools and one of the additions they did in the most recent renovation, they updated it and you've got those four jacuzzis with the awning right in the middle. Wrapped all the way around, you're gonna have loungers facing to the pools and then you're also gonna have loungers in the shade directly underneath us and then you can see the shade on the far side over there as well. Now another great feature of this pool deck is it's also overflow for dining in the garden cafe. So the garden cafe entrance is in the far corner over there. You're gonna have extra tables and chairs that you can utilize here. Of course, they also have some phenomenal outdoor dining space in the back as well for you to check out. Now you're gonna have the Topsiders Bar, which is the main pool bar. It's a really nice large bar there. In fact, it takes up the entire width of the ship. You have several seating areas over there as well, in addition to having the best bartenders in the business that are gonna make your time here on Jord incredibly memorable. Now directly opposite of that, you're gonna find the main stage. In fact, they're setting up right now here. I know personally, once I hear that Caribbean music, my body, my soul starts moving and I know that I'm on vacation. So they'll have live music out here. They also have a nice large dance floor that they can utilize for parties as well. Now set just above it, you're gonna see the sport court. We'll take you there in just a minute. But first, we're gonna head back to Champs. Now Champs is a bar. It's a sports bar of sort, but it's the top deck bar. So you've got quite a bit of seating area. I like that they have all the different shades there so you can grab a seat, tables for two or four. And then of course, you've got the full bar with the bartenders taking excellent care of you. Set just above the pool, you're gonna find the full sport court. So you've got a full basketball court here. They'll set it up for pickleball. They also have soccer nets. You'll oftentimes find the crew playing up here later in the evening. But this is about all the different activities that you can do, whether it's dodgeball, basketball, it's all a ton of fun. And growing up, my dad being a basketball coach, we always would come up here, practice our free throws, and of course, play in those three-on-three -three tournaments. In fact, let's see if I still got any of it left. Ah, not too bad. Let's see if the bank's open today. Looks like it's open. All right. Let's check and see if I can't get to channel my inner Steph Curry just a little bit. Hmm. No, not quite. But Rick Berry? No, nah, he's not off either. Oh well. Now another one of those all-time favorite cruise activities is shuffleboard. They've got that up here. They also have these nets set up. Sometimes it's a driving range. In this case, you've got the putt-putt set up over here. And then as we continue further back, you're gonna have the ping pong. Now, what I love about that is it's behind the net and I don't have to chase the balls nearly as far. Now, just a deck up in the very front, you're gonna find the large sun deck area. So we're just getting ready to sail here. They haven't put out all the loungers, but there's a ton of space here. They'll put out loungers all the way around. But I did wanna point out, it's also a fantastic place to go when you're doing some of that scenic cruising. Now, of course, you have the Space Needle icon of Seattle just behind me. But from here, when you're going into the glaciers, if you're going to one of the more exotic parts of our world, you can definitely get some great views from here as well. Tucked on the front of the starboard side of the ship, you're gonna find the kids pool and hot tub. It's closed right now. We're getting ready to sail here in just a few minutes, but it's got a nice little water feature here, a little water slide, and of course the hot tub for the kiddos. Now this beautiful space is the Four Seasons Dining Room. It's one of two main complimentary dining rooms here on board. Now the cruise experience has always been a lot to do with food and Norwegian pioneered freestyle cruising. This is the idea where you can do what you want, when you want and how you want when it comes to dining and everybody else has caught on. 
Now what's great about dining in a restaurant like this is you can order as you'd like. I've tried so many things for the first time on a cruise ship because at home, maybe when I'm looking at the prices on the menu, I may not order certain things, but here you can order what you want and taste all kinds of new things, open up your mind, your heart, and your soul to brand new adventures. Now you'll see here they have a huge table right there in the middle. They've got lots of tables for two, four, six, and eight as well. So you can dine with your friends, family, or of course meet new friends as well if that's something you'd like to do. But what you'll see here is a really nice sized dining room. The menu is going to change each and every single day. So you can have lots of fantastic options to choose from, but of course they'll always have your favorites. Now another fantastic specialty dining option here on board is La Cucina. This is one of the Norwegian all-time favorites and it's Italian cuisine. Everybody loves Italian food and they do a great job with it. They have all your favorite antipastis, the large plate of salumi, of course, my favorite, the burrata caprese salad. And then you can work your way through those delicious pastas, all the way through the mains. And then of course, you've got to top it off with tiramisu. They have meat dishes and of course, chicken and fish as well. Now in here, what you're gonna see is you have these booth style seating all the way along the side. It's kind of a unique configuration of the restaurant. It's long and narrow on this side of the ship. We're actually on the starboard side of the ship, just between the two main dining rooms for point of reference. But you have these great tables that are by the windows. In addition to all the booth style seating, you can choose what works best for you. But if you love a great Italian meal that's elevated, and don't forget, they even have some amazing pizzas, we definitely recommend that you stop by La Cucina. Now at the very after the ship, you'll find the Seven Seas Dining Room. Now this is where you can have breakfast each and every single day. On sea days, they'll have lunch in here as well. But like the previous restaurant, they're also gonna have dinner every single night. The menus are gonna rotate. And one of the things I like about this particular restaurant is that you have windows all the way around 270 degrees. They've got windows in the back and on the sides. Make sure when you come down for your reservation that you check in and let them know that you would prefer a window room if you'd like. Now, once again, you're gonna see you have a huge captain style table right here in the middle. Lots of tables for two, four, six, eight, and 10 so you can dine with your family and try all of those new fantastic things. Now I will say since Norwegian joined with Oceana, I found an incredible boost in their food. I've always enjoyed their food, but I found it's been even better each and every time I've sailed. So I highly recommend that you try it out. In addition to all the specialty restaurants, the complimentary dining's great as well. Now we're headed into the Bliss Ultra Lounge and Nightclub. This is an adults only area. Now during the day, sometimes they'll use it for different functions that are family friendly. They might do a trivia in here or even bingo or something along those lines. But in the evening, this is the adults only area. You have a massive bar all the way along the wall here. You've got several beers on tap. Of course, all your favorite drinks that you have here that are included with many of the Norwegian packages. That's one of the big advantages of booking a Norwegian cruise. And of course, your hard travel advisor will review all of that with you. Now behind me, you're gonna see all of the seating. So they have sofas on either side and then all down the middle, they have little cocktail tables with two or four chairs. Right here in front, I'm standing on the dance floor. You've got all the lights, the disco ball, the projectors. As I mentioned, this is a multifunction room. You're also gonna have the full DJ booth and sound system over here. It's another one of those dynamic entertainment areas where it can evolve throughout the day and into the night where you can dance the night away, maybe come by before or after dinner for a cocktail or just enjoy your time here with friends on board. Now, one of the things that I associate with cruising is reading. To me, it's one of my favorite spots to grab a book, curl up in a corner somewhere and really dig in. Now, one of the great legacies that they have on this ship is a large library. There's a massive library in here. You can utilize this entire wall. It wraps all the way around on all sides. And they even have a great kids book selection as well. But some of my favorite books that I've ever read, I found on a cruise ship, something I may not have gone to the store and purchased, but just picked up or had a great recommendation from one of the crew members and really enjoyed. Now you're also gonna find the main part of the conference rooms here, so they can divide them up into several different ones or one really large conference room. Keep in mind, if you're looking to book a meeting or an incentive group here on board, make sure you reach out to Hard Travel. We would love to assist you. So now we're in the photo gallery. Now they're gonna take photos of you throughout your cruise experience if you'd like. It's always your option, but when you're boarding and disembarking, sometimes at meal times, that way you can commemorate all of your favorite memories without looking through a lens. You can look at it with your friends and family. 
Now I wanted to point out they have all these screens. You just tap your cruise card here. It's gonna pull up all of the different photos that they've taken throughout the cruise. You can pick one or all of them and they can print them different ways. Now I just wanted to point out the bookcases behind us. That's a legacy. They don't use that anymore when they digitize this during the upgrade. What used to happen on cruises, and those of you who've cruised for a while remember that, they used to print out every single photo. You'd go through and look them, grab the ones you wanted, and then head on up and purchase. Now, in addition to buying digital prints or prints, they can do it on canvas, they can do it on metal, and they can also have them shipped to your house. They also are gonna have some great retail options. Maybe you need an SD card because you took so many incredible photos. Maybe you need a battery, or you wanna upgrade your camera, GoPro, or binoculars. They have those at duty-free prices. Now, one of my favorite cruise memories is, of course, the towel animals. They even have some you can take home with you. you gotta watch out for that guy, though. He's always monkeying around. Now, one of my favorite spots to be on a sea day is the promenade. So on this particular ship, I love the idea that it wraps all the way around. So you can go walking and jogging. It's unobstructed, where a lot of times that's up on the top deck and you have to dodge the chairs. You don't have to here. Now they will set up all kinds of lounge chairs along here. It's a very popular place to be when you're in some of the scenic areas doing the visiting. Or of course, you can also utilize it to curl up, grab a book and take advantage of these amazing views. Now we're in the Stardust Theater. It's the very aft of the ship on decks six and seven. So you've got the stage just in front of me here. Of course, they're gonna do those full Broadway style shows. This ship does go to some pretty exotic locations. So on the longer cruise, they'll bring on a lot of guest entertainers. They'll also bring on some lecturers. It's one of my favorite things to learn all about where you're going, what you're going to experience. And they bring some pretty incredible people on board here to share that with you. Now what you'll see down here is you have more lounge style seating. So they will utilize this space for pre or post dinner cocktails as well, maybe from different receptions. But what it's really about is the theater. So up on the top deck, you have more stadium style seating. Down here, it slowly slopes up so that you can take advantage of those different views as well to check out the shows. But like every cruise ship, it has a main theater. This one actually happens to be in the back of the ship that's pretty different than most modern cruise ships, but I really do like the layout. Now another fantastic bar option here is the Windjammer. So you're gonna have a piano tucked over in the corner. It's very nautically themed. They've got some really cool models. And right in the middle here, you'll see what it's all about. It's a pub. It's a place where you can go, hang out with friends and meet new friends, of course. You see the booth style seating on the back here. You've got tables that can hold up to six right here in the middle with that oversized, really comfortable furniture. Now, right in the middle is the bar. Of course, we're here in the morning. It's not set up yet, but they'll open that up. You have the full bar set up. And once again, I know I mentioned it before, it's all about the crew members. The bartenders are fantastic. They're gonna keep you smiling and laughing, and you're sure to have a great time. Now, a unique thing about this particular option is that you also have the Havana Club tucked over in the corner. Now, you can't smoke in this area. It's another lounge style seating, but they do have cigars top end cognacs and things for purchase. And then you can head on up to deck 11 to the designated smoking area if you wanna utilize that. But what this is, is it's the pub where you can go do some sing-along music, hang out with friends and really enjoy that bar experience. Now, for those of you who love to gamble while you're on vacation, they do have a world-class casino. Tucked in the corner, they've got a hand-dealt poker table. I absolutely love that. And then all along the middle, you're gonna find the different table games. You've got three card poker, Mississippi stud, blackjack, several different options, including one of my favorites, pie gal poker. You don't find that on cruise ships all that often. You're also gonna have a craps table. They have all your favorite machines on the side, including those multi-use machines, and of course, the slot machines. And then at the very far side, you're gonna have the full size bar. Now you can, of course, belly up to the bar, have a drink there, or they'll provide drink service throughout the casino area. Now I did wanna mention that there is smoking allowed if you're playing in the casino. It's one of the few spots on board where you can do that. Set so just after the Splash Academy, you'll find Entourage Teen Club. As a middle school teacher for over a decade, I know that teenagers are the toughest to please, but if they're happy, the entire family is gonna have a fantastic vacation. So what you'll find here is a bit more casual than the Splash Academy. They have several different video game zones. You've got Nintendo Wii, Xbox, Connect. You also have some PlayStations over there. You'll see right here, they have a setup like a DJ booth. They'll do dance parties and some fun for them. They've got the couches to lounge on the sides, several different stations where they can play different games, meet new friends, and of course, reconnect with friends that 
that came on board with them. Now they also have a complimentary air hockey table. They have foosball over on the side as well. And then what you'll see is they've got cabinets all the way around where they have a ton of arts and crafts supplies, different sports style supplies as well. So whatever your kiddo is, right brain, left brain, however they like to have fun, there's something for them to do here at Entourage. As you often find on a cruise ship, they have a ton of retail here on board. You can take advantage of those duty-free prices, and oftentimes in a lot of cases like alcohol, tobacco, things along those lines, taxes can be a big part of it. But if you wanna spoil yourself with some high-end watches, jewelry, maybe you do well in the casino, or you just wanna have a special event for your spouse, you can find all kinds of options to choose from here. Now, in addition to all the different options that they have. They have a new partnership with Effie. They have this entire section dedicated to that. And then you're also gonna find a store where they have some of the sundries. Maybe you left something at home you wanna pick up. Or of course, my wife always stocks up on her different cosmetics and the perfumes. Because once again, you're gonna save quite a bit on the duty-free prices. And our guests come back time and time again to purchase those items. Now, all the way forward on deck seven, you'll find the Splash Academy. The Kids Club program has been a part of Norwegian Cruise Lines for as long as, well, I've been alive because I used to enjoy it myself when I was a little kid and now it's great that my kids get to as well. Now the concept behind it is a place for kids to be kids. They have several different zones set up so they can do different things. I'll take you down there in just a minute, but I wanted to point out right here is the check-in desk. It's really important to stop by on the very first day. They're gonna orient you, talk a little bit about the program. They're also gonna designate it who can check in and check out the kiddos. So for me personally, when we travel with my parents, I'll authorize them, sometimes our friends. So maybe my wife and I are having a nice romantic dinner for two. My dad can come by, pick up my daughter. They can go have some fun until we finish up. Now let's head into the space. Now we just stepped down the stairs. I did wanna point out that they do have a lift if there's anybody with accessibility needs. Now that we're down in the space, it's really a large open space. And the concept behind it is they'll set it up with different zones so that each and every kiddo can have what they're looking for. I know for my daughter, she's probably gonna spend a lot of her time at the creativity zone where she could do coloring, different kinds of arts and crafts. My little nephew's definitely gonna be in the dynamic zone where there's lots and lots of sports and activities running around and having a great time. But they can move through these different zones and enjoy as they like. As we head just a little bit further in, it really opens up here. You see they have some TVs for the different well, gaming zones. I know the kids absolutely love that. They even have some disco balls in here so they can do a really fun, kind of a, a, a semi-disco dance party in here for the kids. Now it will go throughout the day. They'll have some breaks and then later into the evening. And later in the evening, there's oftentimes some different opportunities to have babysitting as well where they can stay a little bit later. You can go out and enjoy this incredible ship. Now I mentioned that we're in the largest part of it. I'm gonna take you to the very far corner now. So you can see that when there's more kiddos on board, they can segment it up a little bit more. But now we're on the far side. And one really nice touch is that they also have the restrooms inside the Splash Academy. They're the tiny toilets and sinks and everything for the kids. I know my daughter was, uh, was body training and just after that, it was really, really important and nice for her to have something that was her size that she was really comfortable with. But you can see here, they've got some fun on the walls where the kids can color. They've got all the different tables, but they can mix and match. Just behind me, there's massive amounts of cabinets where they're gonna have all the coloring supplies. You'll have all the different games. It's here so that the kids can have a great time. Now we're inside the arcade, and I did want to mention that this does come at an additional cost. This is for the young and the young at heart, but make sure you set the parameters with your kiddos, or you can get one of the unlimited packages. They have the claw games. In fact, I love Plucky Ducky because you always win. You go until you win. Great when you have a five-year-old, I've learned that. You also have some different racing games. You got Transformers over there. Jurassic Park was my nephew's all-time favorite on our last cruise, played this over and over again. Guitar Hero, some air hockey here, Big Buck Hunter, and then of course you have all the different racing games on the far side as well. Once again, for the young or the young at heart, it's a great place to hang out on board. Now the Garden Cafe is the fast casual buffet style dining area. So if you wanna grab something quickly, or of course they have some great options made to go as well, this is a great place to utilize for breakfast, lunch, and dinner throughout your cruise. Now I wanted to start at the most important spot, and that of course is the soft serve ice cream machine. So I'll be back for some more in just a little bit, but they do have some great dessert options here. You also have some fruits, but I love the idea that they have paninis going and they have some great hot grab and go options. Now on the other side, you've got your drink station. So you've got complimentary drinks all along here. You'll find several throughout the ship and you can always access them. You've got whole milk and half and half, ice and water. I like the Nestle Vitality options. 
for breakfast, they'll have apple juice, orange juice, things like that. And then for lunch, like today, and then throughout dinner, they'll have strawberry kiwi, tropical mango. These are those enhanced vitality waters. And then of course, iced tea and lemonade. You have your drip coffee and hot water for teas. And then you can grab the tea anytime you'd like. Now, my daughter's favorite is of course, the hot chocolate. Every time we walk by here, we've got to stop and have a little bit of hot chocolate. But this is a great thing anytime during the day. Maybe you want to grab a nice cup of tea before you head on out and check out the scenery. You can do that right here. Next up is the buffet. So you can see they have quite a few different stations in here. We'll start with the soups. You've got salad bars on either side. So you've got lots of different options to choose from. And then you're gonna have the hot entrees right in the middle. Looks like you've got salmon, perfect for Alaska here. You got the bourbon smoked chicken, short ribs, potatoes au gratin, and then of course, several different vegetable options. Now I love the idea that they're gonna have that ginger uh, stir fry as well. That's one of my all time favorites steam ship of beef next more sandwiches and then of course quite a few more fruit options now i did want to point out there is a ton of seating all the way around so you're going to have seating on this side and then as we head further back you're going to find a ton more seating and they also have the great outdoors so you can have the outdoor seating and dining experience that's my personal favorite We've got to stop here one more time. Of course, the most important part, you've got the dessert station there, several different options. I think, yeah, I'll have one of each. I'll be back in just a minute. Now, as we head around to the other side, you're gonna find a few more options. Now, one of the things that Norwegian is great at is Indian food. Now, they have some amazing Indian chefs on board. Both Taylor and I love Indian food and they always have those options. You've got a couple right here to choose from today and a couple more on this side. In fact, I'll be back for that Jira rice and butter chicken in just a moment. You have more hot entree options, a little bit of redundancy from the other side, and then a full another salad bar here. And one of the things that Taylor loves is they always have that pasta station made to order. You tell them the sauce, the mix, the noodles that you want, they'll make that for you right here. Now I mentioned meals, keep in mind, you can utilize this for a snack station as well. There's always something for everyone. I love that when traveling with my family. My wife absolutely loves charcuterie. So this is gonna be her station here with several different cheese and meat options. Now in the aft of the ship, you're gonna find the great outdoors. So you have a ton of wonderful seating out here. And then you also have a full buffet option as well. So you can see more salad options here. This is where you're gonna find the grill, where you're gonna have hot dogs, hamburgers, french fries, all that classic Americana. And then they also have some macaroni and cheese. I know that's my daughter's first stop every single time. And then you're gonna have some other options here as well with fruits and desserts. Now in addition, you're gonna have two separate drink stations. So you have a ton of buffet options out here drink options, and on boarding day especially, my recommendation is to go all the way to the back because so many times people stop right in the front. But the most important part of any cruise ship, it's not the engine, it's not the rudder, it's not the navigation, of course, it's the soft serve ice cream. They have two in the buffet here. They knew that we were coming. Let's check this out. Now, of course, there's only one way to do it. I know some people like those swirl options. There we go. And, but I like to do my own version of a swirl, not my best uh, work here. But what you do is you take two ice creams, you put them together, and you have a double swirl. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need a few minutes, Taylor. You go finish that without me. Now, those of you who know me know how much I love the aft of the ship. And that's one of the best features of this ship is this massive aft dining terrace and bar. So you've got the full bar service here. Of course, the bartenders are the best in the business. They're gonna keep the drinks flowing. They're gonna keep you smiling. What it's all about is the crew in general. Without that, this is a beautiful ship, but without the crew, it's really nothing. So I love the idea that you have all of this amazing space back here. It's an extension of the dining. So you've got the buffets just behind me. Of course, you have the inside buffet as well. But any time of day, this is that perfect place to sit, relax, and enjoy the incredible scenery that's gonna be changing every single day. A big part of the Norwegian concept of health and wellness is the Mandara Spa. They do have a full service spa here on board. In fact, we're just heading in now, and this is the reception desk. My recommendation is to stop by here on boarding day. They'll give you a complimentary tour of the space. Of course, they can answer all of your questions about the treatments, and they can even make recommendations. You're definitely gonna wanna book those as soon as you get on board, because the more popular times like sea days do fill up. Now in here, you're also gonna find a wide variety of retail. We have a lot of our guests that will come on board and stock up on the things that they like, just like they would in the duty-free shops, because everything in here is is tax and duty free as well. Now we're gonna head over and start the spa journey with the relaxation room.
Now once you check in for your spa treatment, they're going to provide you robes and slippers and you'll head into the locker rooms to change. Now a great feature about this particular ship is if you are getting a treatment before or after, you can utilize the steam room and the sauna. They have separate ones for gentlemen and lady in the corresponding lockers. Now you're also going to find that you have the relaxation room here. So after you change, you'll come out here and relax. They'll have some waters and teas and things like that. The whole concept behind it is to get yourself in that Zen mindset. You're going to answer a few questions, fill out some paperwork just to make sure that your therapist knows exactly what you're looking for so that you get the perfect treatment. So now we're inside one of the solo treatment rooms here. They also have double treatment rooms if you want to have that experience with your partner. It's a wonderful way to relax on any day on the cruise. Now my favorite treatment personally is the hot stone massage, but depending on how long I've been on vacation, going on those shore excursions, sometimes that deep tissue or bamboo really makes a big difference, but they have a wide variety from very relaxing to very therapeutic. In addition to that, you can get a facial. They have some Medi Spa experiences as well. And one of my favorites is that seaweed wrap where you can do all the detoxification, then head on out and do it again. Now here's one of the couple's treatment rooms. I love that they have that option for you. You can pick different treatments, the same treatments. I know for my family, a lot of times my daughter will go to the kids club. My wife and I'll come and have a nice massage. That's very, very relaxing. And it just takes the entire vacation experience to another level. Now I'll share with you the happiest and the saddest sound in the spa, right? I know that it's over, but I also know I'm coming back and getting another one. So now we're headed into the full service salon. This is where you can get a haircut, a restyling, of course, manicure, pedicure, whatever it is that you get at the salon at home, you can do that right here on board. They're gonna take advantage of their partnerships with Caristus and Paris, and of course, Elemis. And you can see right away, they have quite a few different hair stations. They've got the wash stations, and then the cut or color stations as well along the sides here on either side. And one great feature as well is that they do have a barber shop. So if a gentleman wants to get a facial, a shave, whatever that is, you can be spoiled as well. Now, in addition to those, one of my favorite things to do on a vacation would be to get a manicure and pedicure. In fact, my daughter loves to do that with me. So you've got two large pedicure stations here. I really like that. You've got the massage chairs, the giant bowls, big enough for my size 15 feet. And then they do have a manicure station and another one that they'll set up as well. So keep in mind that these things do fill up, especially um, on one of those days where you're at sea. A lot of times that's when people will utilize the spa the most. So our high recommendation, of course, is to book that as soon as you get on board. Next up is the Pulse Fitness Center. This is where you can come and exercise. They have a ton of aerobic equipment. You can see they have ellipticals over there, several different styles of bikes. You're also gonna have more along the windows here and a whole wall of treadmills. You can take advantage of those amazing ocean views. Now tucked just behind, you're gonna have all the different circuit machines. You can work your arms, your legs, your chest, your glutes, all of that. They have a leg press down here at the end. And then on the far side, you're gonna find that you have all of the dumbbells, barbells and free weights. So they have several different benches. So you can utilize all of these as you'd like and it's all complimentary. Now, in addition to this, they have some amazing aerobic spaces next door. Let's head next door and check that out. Next up is the aerobic studio. Now they have classes in here, but I wanted to point out something first. I love that they have all of these, the balance balls, the yoga mats, all the different free weights down here. And then I also utilize these foam all the time to come in, stretch the back out and of course, give yourself a massage. Now you can utilize those anytime or you can sign up for one of the classes. They do have some complimentary stretching classes and things along those lines. And then they also have classes that include spin, TRX, yoga, and others that do come at an additional fee. You're definitely gonna to wanna to stop by on boarding day so you can learn more about the classes and go ahead and grab your spot. Now for those of you carnivores, you have Moderno Churrascaria. This is a Brazilian steakhouse concept. So they're gonna have a salad bar set up and small bites where you can kind of grab as you'd like and enjoy those. And then of course, they're gonna bring out the meat. It works just the way a Brazilian steakhouse does in Brazil. You've got the red light, you've got the green light, you let them know to keep on coming or you're gonna surrender. So they have quite a few different kinds of options here. I love the steak that they have, but all of it's really delicious. They'll come on out to the seat and you can eat until you can't. Now we're inside the sports bar where you're gonna find a lot of sports memorabilia and of course, a large bar. You've got a fantastic bar here with several drinks on tap. You're gonna find that you have TVs lining across there and then all the way around the space. It's that perfect place to watch your favorite game and to gather with friends. You've got booth style seating, you've got some high top pub style seating as well. And as we continue along, wait, is that the Super Bowl champion Rams? 
That's what I thought, just checking. But whatever it is that you wanna do, whether it's just grab a drink or watch the game, this is a great social space. Another classic option from Norwegian is Le Bistro French. You're gonna find this on all the ships because it is so popular. So if you like classic French food, you're sure to love digging in. Now you can take advantage of that beverage package as you work through some of the wine options. And of course they do have upgraded options for you if you're interested, including their partnership with Veuve Clicquot. Now, as we walk through the space, you can see they have tables for two and four, even larger tables for a family group. This is where you're gonna get those classic French items, maybe a little French onion soup or beef tartare, escargot, some coca vin. They have all of your all time classic favorites and the ambiance here is wonderful. Now I did want to point out that up on deck 12 is where you're going to find most of the specialty restaurants. You've got the check-in right here for Los Lobos, Teppanyaki, the sushi bar, and Cagney's Steakhouse. Let me show you what those are all about. Now Cagney's Steakhouse is one of Norwegian's original specialty restaurants. It's oftentimes one of the most popular here on board and that's exactly what it is, a classic steakhouse option. They've got all of your favorite starters. In fact, my favorite here is the ahi tuna tartare, but they've got the shrimp and all of your favorite pork options as well. And then as you work through the meal, you can get to those incredible steaks. My personal favorite is the bone in tomahawk, and they have all of your favorite sides and desserts as well. So if you're looking for that classic steakhouse options, maybe you wanna utilize one of your specialty dinings that you have included in your package, or you wanna upgrade that package, this is a perfect meal for anyone who loves a steakhouse. Los Lobos is Norwegian's tribute to classic Mexican fare, and growing up in Southern California myself, I love Mexican food, and they do a great job with it. You've got the full bar here. Of course, you can try all the different mezcals, tequilas, and have some fantastic margaritas. And then as we look through the dining area, you can fill up on all of your favorite Mexican favorites. In fact, I've eaten my weight in Cochinita Pabil and Al Pastor tacos on here, nopales, so many other fantastic Mexican options. You've got that really bright decor that you'll find in all of those Lobos restaurants throughout the entire fleet. I love that they've got the beading up here like you're gonna find all throughout Mexico. You've got the brightly colored tablecloths, the Mexican glass for the glasses all around. And then you've got tables for two and four, a nice bench style seating here as well. One of the things that's unique about this restaurant is it does wrap around towards the back so you can have those views out the after the ship or of course the side. Now we're just inside Teppan Yaki and there's four fantastic Teppan tables right here. Now this is one of my family's all time favorites because it's more than just a delicious meal, it's dinner and a show. The chefs are gonna have you singing, dancing, rocking, maybe even catching some flying shrimp. This is what it's all about. Of course, you're gonna have the classic all time favorite of fried rice. You can customize your order with different seafood, steak, chicken options as well. There's quite a few that you can choose from and they also have some great vegetarian options as well. But there's four teppanyaki tables. You're gonna sit around here. You can see that you have two seats on either side. You've got four in the middle. So you can utilize that for a full family or a group or you can meet new friends. There's one on this side, one over on the far side as well. You've got some classic Japanese decor. Now I did wanna mention that this does fill up quick, so you're definitely gonna wanna grab one of those reservations as soon as they're available. Now keep in mind, if you're in a club balcony suite or a full suite, you're gonna have early access to those reservations. Now I mentioned that my family loves teppanyaki, but for me, it's all about the sushi bar. So the restaurant extends out, so you do have some tables along the side here, but you also have the sushi bar seating where you can sit and watch the chef do their incredible work. In fact, he's right back there right now, getting some of that ahi tuna ready for me, I'm pretty sure. Well, what this is about is sushi. I love to come here for a pre-dinner sushi, sometimes a post-dinner sushi, and sometimes just for sushi's sake. And they're gonna have all your favorite rolls, sushi, sashimi, things along those lines where you can really enjoy. You can make a full meal of it, or you can just stop by for a quick snack. Now at the very top front of the ship, you're gonna find the Spinnaker Observation Lounge. This is a multi-use space. It's got a fantastic bar in here. You can see you've got that full wraparound bar here with the incredible bartenders, several on tap. You're also gonna have the full bar service throughout the entire area. Now it's a multi-purpose lounge. It's used the evening, it's utilized as a music area. So you're gonna have live music here where you can come, sing, dance, and enjoy your time with the family. And in addition to that, you're gonna have this lounge style seating in a 270 degree observation lounge setting. So when you're going to the scenic parts of the world, this is a fantastic place to be. It's also a great place to sneak away during the day. It's usually not that loud. In fact, my wife loves it up here because it's the perfect sewing room with all the light coming in. So now I'm here on the dance floor. They've got the full stage set up where they have the full band, pianist, got the drum set up already. But really what this is, is it's just a fantastic lounge option here on board. 
Now we're just inside the wedding chapel. So if you're going to the chapel and you wanna get married, this is the spot for you. They'll also use it for church services. And it's also just a nice, calm, serene place that you can come utilize throughout your cruise. So now we're on deck five, right in the middle of the atrium. What you'll see is that classic cruise architecture, the grand staircase coming down. It's perfect for taking photos on. And then of course you head on down and you can enjoy the atrium space. You have glass elevators on either side, another one of those signatures from the early 2000s when this ship came out. And then as we walk around the space, we're gonna start on this side with the different passenger services areas. So you've got the onboard credit desk. You can utilize that to talk about money and using any of those credits. You have guest services. They're gonna be able to answer all of your questions about your room, about things relating to your account. And then of course, shore excursions just next door. They're gonna be able to assist you with your excursions. Now I highly recommend that you pre-book those. They do sell out. They can help you make changes, answer questions, but you're gonna to wanna to book them early to make sure you get exactly what you want. Now just one tip for the guest services area, it's always the busiest the first day and the last day of the cruise. So I always recommend getting your business done somewhere in the middle there so that you can have a great cruise and not have to worry about that. Now on the opposite side of the atrium, you're gonna find the Atrium Cafe. So you can see there's a piano just behind. They'll often have times have live music down here, usually setting the ambiance. You also have lounge style seating all the way around. But at the heart of the Atrium Cafe is the coffee shop. So the coffee shop is right here. They serve all of your favorites from Starbucks. So you're gonna have coffees and teas and frappuccinos, drip coffee, and of course, all of your favorite espresso drinks. Now it does come at an additional cost, but if you start your day with a Starbucks at home, it's great that you can do that here on board as well. As we continue on through the Atrium Cafe, you're gonna find that they have a food station here. So in the morning, you'll have some light bites that you can grab and go. They'll also have some of those upgraded Starbucks style items as well. Now you see that you have a full bar on the far side here. They're gonna provide bar service for the atrium area down below. So if you wanna stop by for a drink in the morning, or maybe you wanna stop by for a cocktail in the evening, this is a great spot for it. On deck six of the atrium, you're gonna find the Cruise Next desk. Now this is a great place to stop by while you're on your cruise. You're gonna get some special promotions where you can purchase a certificate or multiple certificates. And then as soon as you get home, we can work with you to apply those to a cruise. So you can get special discounts only offered from booking on board. In addition to that, you're gonna find the internet cafe, internet stations, so they can assist you with questions regarding that now. And then you can also stop by to utilize their computers. Continuing along, you'll find Perspectives Photography Studio. This is where you can get your portrait taken. Now, a lot of our guests do like to schedule portrait time here on board, whether you've got the whole family traveling or just a couple, it's that perfect place to commemorate your time here on board. And maybe even that perfect opportunity to get that Christmas card shot that you've been looking for. Now, something else that I really love about this deck is you're gonna find a lot of the different plaques commemorating the first stops at a port. Something I love about cruising is that every single time you go back on board a cruise ship, you're gonna have all those memories come flooding back. In fact, some of my favorite family memories growing up were on cruise ships. And as I walk along here, I see the different ports, the different times, and it's such a wonderful experience. In fact, here you can see the first stop in Vancouver and Seattle and up in Alaska, and the ship's heading back up to Alaska here in just a few hours. Continuing along, you're gonna find Trade Winds. This is one of those duty-free shops you can stop by here. They're gonna have different clothing items, some of the local souvenirs, wherever it is in the world you're visiting. You'll also find different alcohol and tobacco products. Those are a big part tax and duty, so a lot of our customers will stock up while they're on board. Now on this side, you're also gonna find a continuation of the internet cafe. You also have some tables and chairs that are set up right around the atrium, so when they're playing music down there, you can have a nice relaxing place to enjoy. Now on the port side of deck seven on the atrium, you're gonna find the champagne bar. So you have a wide variety to choose from. They've got wines, champagnes. Of course, you have a full bar menu as well. And this is one of those places you could take advantage of that partnership with Verve Clicquot. It's a perfect spot to stop by before or after dinner. Now, as we continue to wrap around, you can get another view of those glass elevators. So they have them on either side of the atrium. And on the other side, you're gonna find the Park West Gallery. Now, art and art auctions have always been a big part of cruise ships. And what I like about it is it's something you can go, you don't have to purchase anything. You can learn about the art. You can learn not just about the art here, but they'll often do lectures associated with the different events. So you can pick their brains on the best items. Now you see you have some on display here, which is a great option because well, you can head up with the family, stop by and check those out. And then just inside, they also have a beautiful collection as well. Some of our favorites, I see Peter Max, Godard, Brito, um, you could stop by anytime, have a great conversation about art. Thank you so much for spending your time with us today here on board the beautiful Norwegian Sun. 
Now, if you want to see all the rooms and suites in addition to what we just showed you, we have that on our channel as well. And of course, when you're ready to book your next cruise with Norwegian, Regent, or Oceana, make sure you do it right on hardtravel.com or reach out to your hard travel advisor. We know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way.